Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. I was correct last week. Jake did indeed make a mistake. I think I said a word twice yes. when I listened back. Yes. But that's okay. It was still the same amount of words. I it, didn't miss a word. So you was. were wrong. Yes. But you didn't miss a word. There was another word there to fill the gap. Yeah. It's the same amount of words. You still got the same quality as you got every other week. I went back and watched it over. You didn't that make w- a mistake where that- I thought the mistake was, which was rack of my brain, because I kept replaying that part. I was like, I thought he made a mistake here. It was the very next line. <laughs> so we got lots of views last week, because you're just like, where's the mistake? No, nah, I was in the editing. <laughs> oh, boo! We need those views. <laughs> How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Ben. Uh, I won on Tuesday. Oh. Yeah. The streak has begun. Yes, the streak okay. is back. Yes. After a week of devastating sadness, <laughs> uh, Tuesday was fine. It's Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. Relax. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I think my Tuesday was good because, like, because I was playing Injun, uh, I had to, like, just kind of focus, and it put me into, like, this calm-minded state of being, like, eyes front and center can't really look away just focus and like things went pretty well can't mind so I can't I can't really complain yeah I did indeed resolve and my special attack went up on my special defense smart boy um yeah so you playing again Vikings see what else Mm. yeah that's it's the year of fire followed off after the year of fire last year Mm. it's the years of fire damn when will it ever end Good question. I mean, yeah, I mean, well, we'll get to that. Mm. Catchphrase. Brag, how was your week? Uh, played out a fair bit of Theme Chronicle with Gate Guardian in the end after we talked about last week. My God, there's some oh, absolute... I forgot that. I have not played Master at all. Well, you weren't missing much. Well, you are missing gems, but... I'm running out of time much. to finish that battle pass. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, back. That's more important. There's Which just I no still have in the game at the moment that I want to play. Play Gate Guardian. Don't. There's too many ultra <laughs> Unless. There's, didn't we work out there's, oh no, that, wait, yeah, there, there's not that many. Yeah, but you still it's need... It's the support cards that are probably more ultra, and at least they're somewhat generic, yeah. you'll get to use them again at some point. Look, they're not amazing, but they can get the job done every few games, so it's kind of like that. And then, I'm, I wanted to build Voiceless Voice. Once again, we'll get to why that's maybe off the cards, so I'm starting to assemble a pile of fire cards. Then I'm going to... I don't know how it's going to come out. I wouldn't call it Fire Kings. I wouldn't call it Snake Eyes. Don't know what it's It's Fire Toolbox. Battle and Boxes. You well, no, there's going to be no Battle and Boxes. There's just going to be bits and pieces of stuff that I will buy. Like, I'm, going to, I'm talking like one bonfire, one pop. No Wanteds. Just play Highlander. I'm talking Povo Fire Kings. So, Fire Kings in six months. Fire from Peasants. <laughs> Flippers. How about you? Uh, so, uh, this week, uh, on Tuesday, the list was unchanged, the result was unchanged. Um, I still think I went X1. Unchanged? Oh, like, still X1 and still felt bad because I was losing to the same interactions. Were you playing? Uh, uh Hawkist, what else? Oh, I thought it was um, unchanged. No, well, today there was a slight change. Um, I decided to, uh, even though I've had three days off, uh, four including this one, I decided that, like... <laughs> the two hours before locals was when I was going to put effort into changing the deck um, which is when all the deck, best deck building is done um, and none of the stuff I brought from home ended up going into the deck what did go into the deck was the uh, resonator engine from the fire no not what's it called red dragon structure deck the crimson king yes that one so that has made a significant impact on the deck sorry <laughs> slider rider on that um, one card I did put in from my current pool of cards, I was only running off two named Horuses. I've now put a third back in, mm. um, just so that I can get to a Synchro 10 and a Rank 8. Yeah. Apologies, we will be fixing the lighting. You know, we have two We have two boys here on the couch that could have been yeah, looking out for us. our live studio audience is useless. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're mic'd up as well, but they're not saying, they're not Sorry. doing anything. Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah. maybe we shouldn't. Um, so yeah, was playing that today, and it felt a lot better. Baron was super consistent, um, like just having constant access to Baron. 
Um, and yeah, like the even if like the synchros aren't on the table because like the hand's not there, if I have the vision stuff in hand, it's one free discard effectively because like the, let's play this out. So Imseti pitch vision search King Sark draw a card. Uh, Resonator search the crimson thingy that searches it. Add it back from grave, discard it again for the um, King Sark, and then send another one. Uh, where does the Orcist come in? Eventually. <laughs> Eventually, okay. it's it's there. So, so it seems like you're playing uh, a Horus Red Dragon Horus. Well, no. That's, sometimes that's not, you draw no, 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 a card. No, 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 no. Don't talk Horus. over me and think that you're making a point. Shut the fuck up. The, no, no, I'm the one who's talking first, so you're the one. And I'm trying to me. answer your question, and you're just spouting nonsense. I haven't so even finished the question. The, the thing with Orcus is, it's all grave resources. If you open them, you, there's only one you want to open. Brass bombard. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, oh, yeah. And that is Gisu. So if I open uh, Gisu, that's the engine. I thought if the I plan don't. Is to open the spell and that discards and draws to and another one. No. Don't you want Armageddon Knight? Oh, he's in there. Let's, let's assume for the sake of argument that he's also Gisu. So there are five Gisus in the deck. One of them is the slightly worse one because you have to discard for it are as well. Are you playing Rota? Yeah. Yes. So you're playing six Gisus? No, only five. It's Drippish Stokes, yeah. Yeah, I fucking hate Greffa. Is there not a w another way to mill uh, half? Yes. Full material. That's seven. <laughs> and uh, the zombie vampire. That doesn't count. Seven and a third. <laughs> yeah, you get half. Anyway, because the deck is great like graveyard it. centric, count. it's less about opening the Orcus engine, because the Orcus engine will get there eventually, and if not, you've got other stuff playing around. Not Spanish, anyway. Oh, I figured it out. He's gonna get impermed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that happens a lot. Yeah. 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 I forgot that part. But anyway, uh, shit talking aside, the so deck gonna... performed quite well today. Uh, if it weren't for the way that uh, the tournament was run today, I would have won. Uh, instead, it was a three way tie. <laughs> How many players? Four. <laughs> I didn't go. <laughs> In fairness, and I didn't encourage one of them was Chad and one of them was Harry, so it's not like I was versing like complete like noobs at the oh, game. Yes. Do you realise it's recorded, right? Oh. Well, at the end of the day, he won't play Sky Striker. Nope. Yeah, then he'd have eight ways to get to Gearsu. Yeah? The extra draw off engage? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Sky Striker is not the not the play. How dare you? It's if you want to bring back the glory days. I don't. Oh. Oh, okay, we're on different levels then. Yeah. So why are you I, playing August? I don't want to relive 2017. I just want to play August with good cards. Unfortunately, the Sky Striker being the good cards is back in 2019. That's gone. Yeah, you got it right the second time. Maybe it was the third time. Oh, no, it's not prank yet. Anywho, uh, so much happy with the deck. Probably a couple more tweaks to be done, but otherwise quite happy with the way it's going. Um, Master Duel, uh, still in the main thing, I've been playing Sword Soul, again, just get me on there, set up my two synchros, if they break it, great, whatever, don't care, um, just gets me along. Um, get you along what? <laughs> the ladder. It's okay. Do you know what that looks like above bronze? No, I was thinking of two words there. Anyway. In the theme chronicle, I've finished, and I did that all with Mech Knights. Um, particularly difficult because they didn't give um, Almirage. Oh! <laughs> so it was really awkward sometimes, like you just opened a bunch of stuff and you'd have no Link 1 What's to set a, up. That's a theme? How dare they? What am I playing that? I ended up building something in the end because I was Gem just Knights. like... Uh, no, 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 no. I stopped playing Gem Knights, and I built something else. Orcus? No. Rika. No, it involved level. It was Light Swarm. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, yeah, eventually these gods cards are gonna be useful. Just gonna craft them now. Uh, turns out, uh, when I was playing it, literally everyone had decided we ain't gone first. Hmm. So I lost. I think I was sitting with Bray, and I think I lost nine, maybe ten coin tosses in a row. It was just like I'm not playing this anymore. Let's turn it off. Well, that's the thing. If you're going, if your opponent makes you go second because it's theme chronicle, they're playing Crusadia and they cannot OTK. 
Yes. So you just don't put a monster on the board and you go, no, no. That, you. that was my strategy for a while. Yeah. And then they passed. And I was like... And then you go to them? Not when you get uh, Maxine weird. No, that sucks. I got Maxi dropped on me like every single game. Yes. To this point, uh, a recent update has hinted at something interesting in Master Duel. So uh, they're bringing in a... Uh, what do they call them again? Triad Duel. They're bringing out a new Triad Duel, which isn't new. Mm. But what they are saying in this Triad Duel is that it's going to be operating off the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG ban list. Uh, obviously not the same because but, yeah. quite a few cards have changed between Master Duel and the current TCG. Yeah, so do they adjust? Do they it's go getting s- applied on top or taken back? Well, it'd be taken back to the approximate time frame of when these cards were available in the TCG is my oh. imagining. They haven't released There's an no official list. They'll do, they'll do a current list on top of the list. Yeah, that's too much yeah. thought to make them. So it's just going to be the same back. format, but they'll ban Maxi. Yes, but this is effectively what they promised us two years ago before release because we are approaching actually no we've hit the two year anniversary yeah they changed the little decal now yeah I saw that a while back yeah so we have hit the two year anniversary uh, which means it was over two years ago that they said to us that it was going to operate on a TCG slash OCG basis imagine if we just got it slightly earlier how good COVID lockdowns could have been with Master Duel yeah imagine it would have been so good like we would have been playing like Orca's pre-ban list because of the way it works on Master Duel but that's okay those uh those quarantine cups and stuff would have been real good instead we'll just oh god dueling with friends back then was so bad dueling with friends it was good it was fine fucking horrible look I've been doing a little bit I mean I I, I, you've been dueling with some friends You've been dueling with... You disgust me. I've got to duel somehow. Genuinely. Mainly... Well, maybe if you came into a fucking store. <laughs> oh, I don't duel there. <laughs> Not those friends. We move. He expects his friends that he duels with to come to his house. Yeah, pretty much. Locals. And play in his bedroom. Yeah. Well, no. That's play out here no one goes while I bedroom. walk to my bedroom and sleep. <laughs> and then go on the laptop and then open dueling book. <laughs> No, we can't say that word. Um, the other update coming to uh, Master Duel is obviously a ban list. It is about that time of the month. So this one's coming into effect as of the 7th of February. Uh, just a small one this time. Like because they haven't released anything. Well, they've, been, they've released Gold Pride. Like it's, Not you, a long you, one. You need, you need to consider things. A long um, one. But um, it's more so because they did such a massive one last time that they yeah. just didn't have anything they left. Killed everything. And now there's yeah. nothing to play in the game. There's so much to play in the game. You're just being... There's nothing good pedantic. to play in the game. Well, that's, again, not true. But anyway. No, no, it's true. It, it's there's not. a difference between playing a deck that's good and playing the best... Uh, that's going to offend some people, so I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh, Were you Vikings in Master Duel before YCS? Sorry. No. In Master Duel? Absolutely not. A, not. Not a chance. We haven't no. got Rescue Ace yet. Oh, fuck. We don't have Rescue Ace Okay. Yet. A, we do. We just don't have the cards that make them meta. We don't even have Rescue Ace yet, Brad. <laughs> you do have Rescue Ace. It's just not good right now. Four months? Yeah, well, we're out of time, aren't we? We're yeah. not even going to get all the Jewel Nexus before YCS. No. Anyway, back to the band Unless list. Unless Jake has the leaks for next month's pack. No. How would he get them? We no. don't have those conditions. Those, those things don't exist. Uh, so... Just three cards on this list. Uh, limited. Don't Bis- look into that, Jerome. Bissial Sarony. Yeah. Uh, less so for dragons, more so for Branded. Yeah, because Branded was just everywhere. Oh, I, the Gate Guardian never won a game against Branded. No, you wouldn't, because yeah. it doesn't target. No. <laughs> um, Semi limited. We you have. Gate both Branded fusions. And the Bissial the Sanger. It's a problem. Why is Thunder Light? Because they haven't made the uh, zappy attribute yet. Zap attribute. <laughs> Zap. <laughs> Semi limited. We have Labyrinth Shandragli. Yeah. Does literally nothing. Yeah. Is I, it actually yeah. called Shandragli? Yeah, because it's meant to be a chandelier dragon. I've always just called chandelier. That's close enough. We've well, been wrong. Look, <laughs> you didn't write that on a deck list. Not good. Yeah, all your filthy labyrinth plays you constantly do. And yeah. you get DQ'd. 
Because you're a Labyrinth player. The deck that I've always wanted to play, Labyrinth. Yeah. Remember when we were excited to play Labyrinth? There's only one we're Labyrinth deck play I'll play. Because it was before it became like a, just a, oh, flip a card that makes you stop playing, haha. -ha. You mean back when we were all like, oh, it's just Woman Eldritch? Yes. What do you think Eldritch was? <laughs> yeah, no, I, and again, I was excited for Runic at some point, I was excited for Kashtira at some point, and then I, oh, and I was excited for Ubel, and then I realised the the play styles just don't correlate with me, and then my excitement drops down. No longer a long one. Anyway, uh, no longer on the list, uh, speaking of Eldritch, is Conquistador. Add that to the list of uh, changes on the ban list that do not matter. Of oh, the Conk Pop. Remember early days of Master when everyone was playing Oblish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's and back, baby. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I'll t hey, I'll heavily invite that rather than fucking Labyrinth playing on turn one and ripping every fucking thing out of my hand. Yeah, they seem to really go after the hand rip in Master Duel. They love the hand rip in Master Yeah. You should play Orcus. Then you get Aha, an jokes on you. Matter. Yeah. Given, given answers here. You're the one that's saying there's no good decks to play. Yeah. There isn't. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's moving decks on to play. Moving on to some TCG news. Uh, over the past few days, we have gotten uh, Yugi Tuber's opening boxes. Uh, ben still hasn't arrived yet, so Jerome, if you can work yeah, out where that is. Mine still hasn't arrived yet. Yeah. yeah. If you could work out where that is, because he really wants my, to film some on, content. On the Konami website, you know, they asked for my delivery address. I gave it to them. Still didn't send me a box. Soon. That's, that's okay. We'll keep checking. We'll keep checking. Um, but we do now know the full set breakdown, including the TCG exclusive archetype and the random crappy cards that they generally yes. do as pack filler. Uh, so One of them's pretty fun. We'll get to that. Uh, so, I'm just going to read out what cards are printed as the uh, quarter century rares because this will cover off secrets and ultras. I think um, you should cover the secrets and ultras. Then I'll instead. just do the secrets and ultras. Just do the secrets and ultras. So, for our 10 secrets. Because that's a pretty important differentiation between the secrets it's and ultras. It's true, it's true. Uh, so, for our secrets, we have Horus the Black Flame Deity, uh, Low Prayers of the Voiceless Voice, Ending Master Packbit. I. That card. Do we already know we're getting that? Yes. Okay. I disregarded that card out of my brain. Oh, because it's bad. I thought it was a TCG. It's not that bad. Eh, it's not great. It's like a top five rain uh, sync eight. Top five? There's not a lot of fantastic sync eights that are generic. Uh, I suppose when you take in the yellow scrap dragon, all crap. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, said not generic. <laughs> scrap dragon is generic. Oh, I thought you said generic. No, I did say generic. Yeah. 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 No. Scrap dragon is generic. Nah, but it's Scrap Dragon. Continue. <laughs> uh, Goblin Biker Big Gabonga. I didn't realise how fucking ridiculous that name is. That's Big Gabonga. <laughs> Big Gabonga. <laughs> you, have, you have to play them. Oh, I bought it. Yeah, I know, but for YCS you have to play it. So that you can go, I oh, summon I Goblin Biker Big Gabonga. Big Gabonga. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, we ha oh, where do I go? Uh, Magispector right or the big <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Did you get both goblin cards? It's the next one. Why would it be after the Magispector? Because the sort of this list is terrible. Because that's the number of it. Because oh, it's spells it's it's and the monsters the yeah. and gabongas and not yeah. <laughs> no gabongas, <laughs> gabongas and no gabongas. <laughs> How'd your end board go? No gabonga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Magispector Orthos. Uh, Goblin Biker Grand Entrance, Mutamorphosis, The Black Goat Laughs, Wait, I'm... Mutamorphosis is a secret? Yeah. Mutamorphosis is a secret. Oh, I thought it said super on the listing. Nah, $15 you get... $15 super? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what I was like going for. Why is that 15 bucks and everything else is cheap? That's weird. Screen scrolling. <laughs> uh, the Black Goat Laughs, Iron Thunder, and Vados, The Eruption Dragon of the Extinct. Woo! Or of Extinction, I should say. Yeah. Importantly... Wait. Like... Did you say the other? The, did you say the other Ashened in there? In the There's secret? only one secret Ashened. It's only just one the secret dragon. Ashened. Card. Oh yeah, she's Ultra. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. So speaking of the Ultras, we have Goblin Biker Doug Charger, Snake Eyes Poplar, which yep. I kind of predicted would be an Ultra at <laughs> worst or best, I guess, depending on your perspective. I insist that Jake said it was going to be a secret. I was certain that it was going to be Ultra or above. 
Oh, what a prediction there. Oh, I know. Well, you were 100% no, we on it were, being no, a super, we so go fuck yourself. No, 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 we were I, demanding it be a super. My super logic was actually pretty smart. I would argue that I'm more right because it's not a secret. Actually, now I'm going to be angry looking at that. You're still fucking wrong! Anyway. Um, 50% wrong. <laughs> wrong. I wouldn't take that to a teacher. They'll probably still give you an answer. No, no, no. So, you know how at university you graded on your answer and your, uh, your sorting? And the curve. Your way you had got to your answer? So, like, even if you get the answer wrong, if your like logic is correct, they give you half marks. Oh, no wonder everyone's getting fucking uni degrees. It's fucking easy. Yeah, it's really. Uh, no, 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 I haven't finished yet. So <laughs> I'm reading our secrets. <laughs> but the art is still super. It just has gold writing above it. Mm. Shut the fuck up. So, uh, <laughs> continuing with the ultras, we have Sephira, Dragon Queen, the Voiceless Voice. Cool. Uh, Carnot, the Eternal Machine. Mm. Uh, EMP Meow Mine, which is really expensive for some reason on pre-sale. It's okay, isn't yeah, because it? you can play it in August. Okay. <laughs> it's like 15, 20 bucks on pre-sale for what I've been seeing. I'm like, that's. A lot. I suppose it's a level two extender as well. There, there is also a lot of five dollar secret rares. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I feel like a lot of these cards are just getting bumped up because like so many of the secrets are shit. Um, so Skull Guardian, Protector of the Voiceless Voice. Uh, you bell the loving defender forever. They did get an ultra. Okay. They did get an ultra. But the it cover has... card is a super. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and surely a quartz here as well. Well, no, yeah. It can't be a quartz. Um, yeah, it's only super. secrets and ultras get quartzies. All secrets and ultras, nothing else. Oh, sorry. Secrets and ultras get quartzies. Unless? No. Uh, Do we know the quartzies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, know all five, we know all the quartzies. They yeah. tell us in advance. They, they tell us in all advance. All secrets, that... ultras, and the magician of Unity. All. All, all the secrets and all the ultras. Oh, I thought it was a select amount. No, it's Ew. all of them. All it was like a grab bag. Nope, all of them. No, no. Oh, that explains why that card I was looking at buying the other day had a red and quartz here. I'm like, oh, I probably should get that. Yes. Yes. I'm not saying it. Yes, vague news. Uh, Raid Raptor Rising Rebellion Falcon. Magispector Draco Ryu. Promethean Princess Bestower of Flames. Another ultra which people thought would be a secret. Um, Goblin Biker Grand Bash. Psychic Processor, which is a TCG exclusive. Interesting. Uh, and it, mm, uh, Priestess of the Ashen City and Awakening of Vados. Um, so, yeah, Ashen is the TCG archetype Awakening that was of being. Vados is the trap for Ashen, yeah? No, the spell. Spell. This is oh, I did buy that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was just covering off my brain what I bought. Um, I did have a link. Searchable. So we got, let, let's go into a bit of conversation. We, are, we, are you skipping past this? To no, the no, 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 no. I'm just, I'm trying to. Fu- <laughs> well, yeah, we can talk about the. So, so why, there, there that's what go. I want. Yep. Why am I paying eighty? So just one more thing on the QCR thing. Yep. Why am I paying eighty dollars for a pop if it's going to because be because the QCR is going to be like five hundred dollars. It's going to be a lot. You reckon? Yeah. It's going to be Not a lot. Four, yeah, let's get five hundred. It's going to be four. I was thinking the prince. I thought the the I thought the princess she was going to go higher. That's going to also be big. Those will be big money in. The, I weirdly have those two will probably be more expensive than the voiceless voice as a court seat. Yeah. Simply because like the voiceless voice already has a higher printing. Yeah. And these other cards will be above and beyond. Yeah. Um, so why are we paying eighty? Uh, two reasons for that. One, everybody wants it. B. I'm an idiot. Uh, sorry, there's three reasons. <laughs> uh, one, everybody wants it. Uh-huh. Two, uh, because so many of the secrets aren't super chase slash bad, they have to find their profits yep. elsewhere. So weigh it up that way. Yes. And three, pre-sale prices. I, the further yeah, we I mean, get out from pre-sale pricing showing up, the more I'm like, I think eighty dollars is not that bad for these ultras. Yeah, like they're, I mean, they're not bad enough for me to go final cop, but I'm gonna be cranky about it. Yeah. So Could've like, better. Could have been seventy-two. I did end up buying them. <laughs> I, I was like, "Fuck it, what's that? Two forty, and we're fine." Um, I ended up buying that all of Goblin and the new archetype that Jake's about to talk about. Mm. Yeah, uh, the Ashen. Yeah, I bought Ashen as well. One of the strangest things I found about Goblins was that Goblins, how do you put it? Uh, sorry, my brain stopped working. The hand trap that you can play outside of the deck and the boss monster are commons. Hmm. Goblin has a hand trap? Yeah, it has a rank 3 that's... a uh, level 3 that's detached material from an Xyz special summon. Just an Xyz. An Xyz. Ooh. Okay. So, like, in the OCG, they played it as an out, extra out to Pearly. Oh. Because you go detach, summon, 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. So that's like an option that you had. But now it's a common. I thought that one was going to like at least be an ultra. Um, but yeah. So Goblins was very cheap. I probably overpaid at the price I paid. But we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, it turns out we get two jump scare hand traps in this set because, uh, as you heard before, I mentioned the Ashen archetype, which is the TCG exclusive archetype coming out in this set. Uh, their sort of premier monster, the secret, uh, Vados. Uh, during the main phase of this card in your hand, quick effect target a card in a field spell zone. Uh, special summon this card to your opponent's field, and if you do, destroy that card, and then you can add to your hand or set one Ashen continuous trap from your deck. Interestingly, um, they will probably get it more because they only got one announced. I'm assuming they'll get more in the next set. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But, um, Godi only got the one secret on its release as well the big fish. No, I mean more traps. More traps. Oh, more traps. More traps. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant secrets. Any trap? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think Godi got like two traps in its second release. That doesn't mean it's also got a field spell. Well, it's getting support, and people are hyped up for fish stuff. Might be okay. Um, so they get three main deck monsters, um, all of which special summon themselves if the field spell is up. Um, special summon one Ashen from your hand, except for the king. Uh, and if your opponent controls a monster with 2800 or more attack, which is the stats vaguely of the big dragon, yep. um, you can special summon it from your deck instead. Uh, is it, so is it just more than 2800 attack? 2800 or more attack, yeah. So there's a chance we could get another monster with more attack. Potentially, yeah. The Seal's very excited by this news. Seal is excited by the news. Um, then you've got the Hero, again, special summons himself. Uh, once per turn, during the main phase, quick effect, target a Pyro monster on the field, destroy it, and then if you destroyed the big dragon by this effect, you can place a uh, field spell from your deck face up into your field zone. Mm. Uh, and then Priestess, the Ultra of the set. Oh, one of the two watchers, I should say. Uh, special summons itself with the field spell. If normal special summoned, add an Ashen card from your deck to your hand. So one gets you to the other. Which gets you to which the gets other. Which gets you to the other. Uh, yeah. So it's a solid line of support. Um, the field spell um, makes monsters your opponent control become pyro during your turn, so then your uh, hero can pop stuff on your turn, but not yeah. your opponent's turn, which is not... It does. It does do some things. It like does. It, it does stop IP from going into some like weird shit, because it's not normally it's like Cybers. So it's not Cybers anymore, and you stop that shit. Um, yeah. So part of the the way this whole kind of deck functions is like the field spells realistically just there, and when it's removed, it recycles. You put it on oh, the deck, draw a card. Yeah, so during the end phase, so, it puts a copy of itself to the bottom, you draw a card, and when it's destroyed, special summon an Ashen monster from your deck, which is likely yeah. Priestess. Priestess adds you the it, king, the king summons the there. other one. Yeah, and so it's all relatively well connected. The big monster summons your opponent's board, the trap then steals it and reduces the attack of something your opponent controls to zero, facilitates 8,000 damage. Off you go. Yeah. Exactly 8,000, the, the combo facilitates. So it's, it's a very straightforward and kind of dull combo very linear we'll see what gets filled out in the rest of the deck technically one card combo as well provided you can deal with the lock because the quick play spell places uh the field spell uh on either player's field and then if it goes to your opponent you can add the big dragon then the yeah. big dragon pops the field spell and the whole thing goes get which um, gets you there. which uh, yeah and i kind of like that like it, the second run will decide whether it sees play or not like at the moment I feel like the lock or like the lack of diversity in the plays probably limits what you can do with the deck and be, yeah it just needs more it'll be interesting to see what gets mixed up with it for this first three months before we get the new support because mm. like there's people playing spirit packages there's people playing a shitload of hand traps um you can play shifter but it does hurt you kind of in a long game and then requires you to open up specific cards outside of that um, the deck is very, very linear in what it can do and what it's required to do it. Um, so it will be interesting in the way the deck plays. Yeah. Um, you rather interestingly, a lot of people are playing Extrav, which then stops the field spell from going off in the end phase. So you have to wait till next turn. It's it's one of those decks where at the moment it looks like you got to weigh up 
between do I do this and then be able to build my board or do I do this so I have better recursion because there isn't really a way to have both at the moment. Yeah. Um, it's going to make the deck very fragile. Also, if you just don't have a field spell, good. Yeah. Mm. Um, also, I'm not, I haven't read the text, but it'll be interesting as to whether or not the big dragon has to destroy the field spell to summon or whether yes. it's summoned yeah, and then destroys. I'm, I'm all, like, I'll double check um, now, but I'm almost certain that I had that same thought and it says if you do. Okay. So... Here, I've already had it loaded up. Special summon, yeah. then if you do destroy the destroy field spell. Destroy that. Destroy the field spell, then if you do summon. Yeah. You target okay. one card, the card in your... In Special summon field. this card to your opponent's field, and if you do, destroy that okay, card. Okay, so it's the other way around. So oh, sweet! In yeah. Viking, you, you can still summon the monster because they can protect the cool. field spell. But you don't destroy it if that do, if you don't summon. Yeah. So really I knew hot. and if you do was on there, but that's actually really good. Really hot really tech? Uh, this is an out to Salamangri. Oh yeah. So they drop down Sanctuary because they have to drop down Sanctuary. You pop the Sanctuary. They also then don't have the ability to protect themselves when they nuke their board. Mm. So. Interesting. And it, if you summon it to the zone that the um, Balix points to, they can't get stuff going. Certainly. Ah, that's it. I'm loving it, it. It makes things a lot more awkward for them to play around. Um, probably shouldn't have broadcast that. But Josh isn't going to acknowledge this anyway. Yeah, Josh won't see it. This until is going to get dropped him. on him, and he's going to be like, "What? <laughs> what is this?" But rather interesting. I will probably play either this or Goblins for the period between YCS and uh, Lights One coming out. I might do both. Might just alternate, switch it around, do whatever I want. The world joys. Yeah, a month and a half of fucking around. Yeah. Uh, so we have some other TCG exclusive cards that have been released as well. Um, so we start with Psychic Processor, one of the Ultras. Uh, banish this card to control, special summon up to two machine, psychic, and or cyber monsters from your hand, and they can attack directly this turn. Uh, during the standby phase and the next turn after this card was banished, so, add this banished card to your hand. Rather interesting because it's an e tele target. Yes. So that's why I, I kind of like this card. Yeah. Like you can e tele it out, special two from your hand. It requires that's effectively requiring a three card combo, but if you're playing a bunch of these monsters of that typing and levels, it's pretty free. You can just be like bang, yeah. bang, tag like, it out, get it back I, later. I like as well that they've opened it up to so many different types. Like it's yeah. not just a cyber's card, it's not just a machine card. Yes. Like you can do psychic machine and cybers. Yes. It's because they're all three of the same type anyway. Close. That's nah, all the same. The is yeah. all three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, imagine Guess that jump scared Jizno. <laughs> hmm? Continue. Uh, so, uh, we've got Psychic Arsenal. Target a Psychic Monster you control. Pay life points equal to its level two times 200. Add one machine monster with the same attribute but a higher level from your deck to your hand. Uh, during your main phase, except during the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, banish this card from your graveyard. Target one each of your banished Psychic and Machine monsters. Place one on the bottom of the deck, and if you do, add the other to your hand. Why did you read the shit cards? Yeah. <laughs> the first one, I was fine. Well, this Please one, don't read the this one, this one, lets you target the one that you summoned up Etelly to add a target. Just, just pointing things out. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, you don't want to hear about that one. Yeah, pretty crap. I don't think you want to hear about that one. We... There is the bird card oh, that so people are excited gonna... for. There yeah. is a bird card. You're not going to ditch um, Xyz Force, are you? I did ditch that because I don't think Ben was interested. Well, look, all of XC's Force card text is neither here nor there. <laughs> but it does have... Uh, da -da -da. You can special summon that monster from your graveyard or your banishment. Wait. Huh. Surely not. Read the actual card, Jake. Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Zoom. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't it, trust it, me. <laughs> it actually said banishment. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> Target that monster, uh, uh, summon I, that mo or your banishment in defense. What the hell? And then I went combing, going, did I miss this? Because obviously I'm, I'm crazy now. But no. Banishment. <laughs> we're, we're just. <laughs> so, translation is that so what it can only summon from graveyard because there's no legal banishment. There is nothing in the game. That's declared as banishment. It's so anything you uh, sent back with Dark Lord banishment. So what they're going to have to do <laughs> now is print it again in either OTS or the next side set to fix their fuck up. 
So now another card space is being taken for this garbage. They waited long enough to print those other fix-ups. They didn't fix a Luba till the next Mel Megatin. Yeah, true. Oh no, they did it in Ghost in the Past. Like a year Which was... That, that wasn't that long. Just saying. Wait, did a Luba even get a Megatin reprint? Mm, maybe? I don't know. I had, my, it. I had my secrets, so I didn't care. So, um, so uh, the bird card. Uh, swallows Cowrie. Tribute one wing beast monster in your hand or you face said up. Swallow. I did. Yeah. I, I did in fact read was the it a card. Long one? Uh so tribute a wing beast monster in your hand or face up field, add one wing beast monster from your deck to your hand with the same level of as that attribute of that tribute of monster. Uh so yeah, literally just uh advent just without being able to add the field spell. Okay. That's it. Oh no, I've read this card. I oh, know. Yeah. Advent two. Let's um, play around more hand traps. Yeah. But not Ash, so if they can't chain block the Ash, bye bye. Um, a card that I'm excited for, not sure why. Uh, Tricorn the Cacophonous Concert, uh, level 2 Dark Fiend Tuner Effect Monster. It's because it's an Fiend. Orcus monster that doesn't say Orcus. Fiend. It, hmm? Yeah, it's Fiend. a Yeah, keep going. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if a monster or monsters you can, in your possession is destroyed by battle or card effects, especially some of this card from your hand. Uh, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, target one monster in your graveyard with both the same type and attribute as a monster you control, add the monster to your hand. Mm. Sir? Yes, Ben? You should cut Horus from August. Okay, hear me out. Yep. You play e -Telly. You play the punk package. I'm already hating and it. And you play Go the on. new guy. The new level 3. Because then if you, like, hard open your symbol... Oh! You can e telly that, and then use the effect to summon the symbol and something else, and then you can go into Galatea. Does the... You already, and you already have the e telly you, you, you already... You I'd have them Galatea. somewhere. They wouldn't be good rarities, but I'd have them. Um, ooh, up to two. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, so, firstly, won't be cutting Horus. Too good. Uh, secondly, I might play this... This the same thing. The punk package just also gets in you addition, to Zombie Vampire. In addition. And it also discards cards out of your hands. Oh, and then I can add a psychic as well off the um, jamming dragon or whatever the fuck its name is. Mm. I'm fixing your problems here. Mm. <gasps> or striker. Magnet. You're welcome. Ah, oh, here we go again. Magnite August. You can't special make. Yeah, well, you, what, you, what, you haven't played. They're Magnet? psychics. I thought I thought there was a little restriction. Um, no. Oh, then you can just yeah. Why would you not just play that? <laughs> Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. He's finally oh, there. Oh, Mechanite Hawkist is coming. Um, you still think you should cut the Horus? Nah, Horus is good. Well, it's better now that I've got Vision resonated. Can you me. not just summon the z the zone, the lane, the, the shifty? Shift it and summon another one because they're both eights or they sevens. No, no, the shifty is eight, but some of them Ooh. are sevens. You can just shift and then summon another one. Mm. Anyway, we'll work that out later. Um, is this card interesting enough to read? No. Uh, no. The answer is no. Yeah, most of most it of the other ones. It was printed as a common. The answer is no. Yeah, a lot of the rest of them are garbage. To be fair, um, this one's weird because it gives your opponent way too many resources. The if where there's will, there's way out. Yes. Oh, the Dino Extender. Um, yeah, what's with this? Yeah, I don't understand it fully. It's a level six though, so it's very helpful for them. Is it? Helps them make Z's. Yeah, true. True. Hmm. Sunset Beat actually looks like a cool card, though. Like, yeah, I like the artwork. Yeah. The is effect it? is... Eh. What's the trigger to special summon from the hand, though? If you control two or more dinosaurs. Ah, oh, so it's just a free draw. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's also searchable off Fossil Dig, because Fossil Dig has a ludicrous level restriction. Yes. <laughs> I fucking hate that is card. Is it a tuner? No. Damn. It's not quite that good. Not super searchable. No, not super searchable. Although I should say that one, uh, the Dino Extender, isn't until the lights are on set. Ah, okay. You probably should have prefaced that for the people at home. Yes. So no Dino Extenders for you until Ben gets to do this nonsense. Yes. Um, oh, in that same uh, set, uh, the lights one set, as I'm going to keep calling it, uh, we get the Nightmare Apprentice. That's the lights one card. Correct. Uh, so. Uh, special summon this card by discarding one card. If this card is normal special summon, add illusion monster from your deck to your hand. If this card battles, neither can be destroyed by battle. Hmm. I like it. Hmm. It's good. 
The seal likes it. Uh, crying in pain. <laughs> could be. Um, so last week we mentioned the Memento additional support coming out in Legacy of Destruction. We now get the other two archetypes getting their cards as well. Um, so Centurion get a main deck monster, a new synchro, and a new spell. I don't really care to read any of them except for the synchro. Uh, so to lead, not to read. Correct. Uh, so um, if this card is special summoned, add a Centurion card from your deck to your hand. Uh, face up cards in your spell and trap zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. These cards suck. They're not great, but... They, they just let you play around Banished. Yeah. Uh, and then during the end phase, you can place one of your non-synchro Centurion monsters that is Banished in your graveyard face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. I legitimately believe they just designed this support, so it's like, if you get hit with Shifter, you do this instead. Yeah, it feels that way, doesn't it? Um, and then the Val Monica support. Um, so they get a main deck monster that isn't a pendulum, um, which I think does pretty much everything that they wanted to do. Except go to the face of extra deck when it's leave the field. Yeah, but they're not actually a pendulum archetype, so that's not actually what they want. Um, yeah, but it's cool to have the ability to do it. Uh, so if this card is normal pendulum summoned, add a Valmonica card from your deck to your hand except for itself. Uh, your opponent's monster cannot target this card for attacks while you control a monster other than itself. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard and you have two Valmonica cards in your Pendulum Zone, Does add this card to your hand. say its name in text? Yes. To stop the soft lock? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, two spells that, again, I do not care to It's read. Valmonica. You already read one card too many. You could have just said it's a searcher yeah, and then stop. It's, it's true, it's true. Uh, then we get a new rank 10. Uh, the... Deccan Log Valdrath. This is an interesting rank 10. Uh, 2 plus 10 monsters. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect, detach material from this card and negate the activation. Then you can detach one more material from this card, then destroy one card on the field. Yes. At the start of the damage step of this card, with materials attacks, destroy one card in the field. Mm. If yes. this card is Xyz, oh, this Xyz summoned card is destroyed, destroy one card in the field. Yes. So it reads a lot like uh, Unchained Abomination in that it likes to destroy stuff. So I read the text before reading the material. When I read the text, I was like, is this going to be a new, like, Zeus card? That's just if I can whack it on top of one and start popping? But Regrettably not. not. Yeah, it's not. I, I was hoping... The card would be insane if it could do that. I was like, oh? New Zeus? If only. Like, Zeus already sends everything. This wouldn't be that insane if you put it in that line. I mean, to an extent, sure. Um, yeah, but that's most of the new stuff covered off for the moment. Um, is there anything else that I wanted to bring up? I don't think so. So I think we can move on to some questions. A seemingly fine <laughs> set at the end of the day. What, the yeah, this one? Legacy Destruction? I think it's going to be good. It's going to be better than the current set, yeah. I feel. Yeah, I'm feeling more keen to buy later in the year than the one that we are actually going to be participating in a YCS in. That set, though, is like the set we are getting. I always call it, it's not Legacy of Nightmare, it's something. Something. It is actually a very interesting set. It just doesn't have, with the two cards that were the bang, here's your money cards being ultra, it's like it doesn't have that punch. Mm. And that's the only thing that we get making this go, like, oh, it's not that great. Like, if those two were secrets to carry the set money wise, and everything else was like more affordable and ever in everyone's hands, we'd be saying the set's great. It's just that Konami for once has done the opposite, where they're like, we'll print these as ultras. Good luck. So I quite like the set, and it's rather interesting. Like, opening a box probably isn't going to feel fantastic. No. But. Chances are. <laughs> like, buying singles is great. Yeah. It's the kind of set that you'd have to open volume to see value. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but moving on to some questions, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us some questions. Uh, our first question this week comes to us from Lost Contact. Uh, what do you guys think about product release schedule? It seems every other week there is a new product. Um, no, it's fine. There's definitely periods where it seems to come out like really quickly, like it's like set, two weeks, set, two weeks, set. And then there feels Too like snuffing. Yeah, I was gonna say there feels like sometimes there's like big gaps where it's just like the meta is so stale, give us a ban list or a product or something. Yeah, like it's fine at the moment. If anything, I think they should which they are doing with Legacy of Destruction, that they're bringing forward the set 
Like it's it's coming forward two weeks, mm. which is, we need to have happen because since COVID, it's kind of gone out. Where yeah, it blew out have over gone COVID. To three and a half months, four months behind the OCG. It'll be good to only. I think this will get us to just a touch under three months behind. Mm. If if your battles are legends packs, your two player starter sets, those sort of stuff, like where it's just purely for someone trying to like get in the game or shore up their collection, that's fine. Like, if we had non-stop meta set after meta set, maybe. Yeah. But, like, yeah, there is a lot of product, like, contracted together, but a lot of it isn't. You can you can afford to skip it if you're a long-term player or you've got your priorities right. Something as well is that this is probably a recency thing where we've come out of the end of last year where we typically do see a lot of product release from August or late August, early September through to December. We see a lot of product drop. Mm-hmm. I was genuinely surprised that the two player set didn't release before Christmas as like a Christmas gift idea. Well, that was their original release, wasn't and it? it? And they got pushed, pushed back. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me because it did. It does definitely feel like a product that should have already been out. Well, now, it felt like a Christmas thing. Yeah, and we've just and we didn't really have a Christmas this, thing. No, we didn't. We had whatever that main set was that we had release. Yeah, we had our main set come the end of October and a whole bunch of leftover tins. And a whole bunch of leftover tins because the tins were really shit. The tins were so bad this year. But yeah, typically now we'll Last see, year. like, we'll have our set release now or in February. And then we'll probably won't. I don't think we see anything until. Until after YCS. I don't think we see anything until the next main set. Yeah. Because there's no. Oh, the Battles of Legend reprint, I think, comes out between then. No, that's in, that's in May. Oh, no, that comes out after. That's too. in that, like, May ramp up the reprints to get you into WCQ and yeah, right. Worlds. We but, don't get the Valmonica garbage. Oh no, we have the Valmonica garbage. Yeah, there's, so yeah, we're, there actually we're missing anything. the set in that sits in that March period because it's meant to be that ghost from the past. But yeah, we're not okay. Getting that, like it, it should have been the Duelist Genesis set. Hmm. Like uh, that Duelist, sorry, the Duelist, whatever it was. Yeah. You know the, the anime set. Dual, yeah, it should be yeah, the Duelist yeah, yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, Like Overload was one, right? Yeah, but we've just skipped it. Yeah. I suppose because they're doing a second rarity collection, maybe they thought... Yeah, they're the rarity collection, but the monster, time. you've got the Battles of Legend shit there, like, it's just uh, too much. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you meant the Battles of Legend collection. So I thought you meant a yearly Battles of Legend. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, no. that's, I think, mid-Feb? Yeah. So that's yeah, two weeks after, yeah. and then we have nothing. Yeah. Yeah. From there until the and end And even of then, that's, like, April. completely a reprint set, right? Like, yeah. there's nothing new that we're expecting in that yeah. set. There's nothing in March. Also... Uh, look at the magic release schedule and then I wouldn't complain. <laughs> they, like, in the periods where I've paid attention to magic and been like, oh, I might have fun and play Commander, there's legitimately been a two month period where I think they released this set every week. And, yeah, and they were like, to change a sets lot. that they were like, you've got to have this card, you've got to have that card, you've got to have this card. Because, like, they were like, main set, Lord of the Rings, into another Commander set. Had that fucking food set. They've got the fucking the, beach thing. They've got they the so murder much. mystery set. Like, yeah. Because they, I only like, cursory look at magic, but it just seems to be like they. Any time that someone takes a breath, they decide to release another yeah, product. Because well, yeah. <laughs> they print like their main four sets a year, and then on top of that, print for two other formats of the game, and then on top of that, do their special releases. Then on top of that, do their. It's like aggressive. In, they're constant. Oh, buy, spend a hundred dollars for these five cards. They're selling singles. Like it adds up. Where there's a, there's something new every week or two. Yeah, March has nothing but the Speed Jewel GX midterm destruction. There we go. There's oh, your March Speed reprint Duel. set. Yeah, <laughs> that's effectively what Speed Tool product <laughs> is now. Just Can where they... you get your reprints. Were Infernoids in GX? No. no. Damn. They were they were a law thing. They were dual terminal. Mm. Oh, I was like, my hopes up maybe they were going to be in speed ball. No. Printed Although something they haven't in told speed us. Ball. Yeah, what's going on with the dual terminal one? Yeah, they haven't told That's us when we're I'm, getting terminal well, worlds. I was just talking. Yeah. 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 He had one job. He's ruined it. Anyway. Like, um, um, yeah. So that probably should have been our mm. like our March reprint filler. But now it's speed jewels. We just haven't got it. Why speed jewels? Yeah, yeah they either need to like go fully in and actually like 
promote it and yeah. support it or kill it. They're just just get rid of it, bring in Rushdul, do whatever they've got to do. Like this half ass bullshit they're doing is actually just hurting them. There is one thing that I appreciate and it's that they are pointlessly reprinting cards that probably need a reprint. Like just old legacy cards that probably need to be reprinted. They're just releasing. Oh god. Um, his second question is to do with the two player starter set. He's currently a naked set. man behind the camera. I don't know why he's getting changed. He may have shit himself in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it so does smell awful funny it's in so here. Fucking hot. You had the windows open already. What are you talking about? Well, we had to close one because the wind was blowing light onto Ben's face. Um, so he's. <laughs> Uh, so his second question was to do with the two-player starter set, but I feel like we covered that off yeah, in the last pod, so we won't worry about that pretty one. Pretty shit. Probably should have been a Christmas release. Yeah. Uh, second Did question is from 6 Art 6 uh, What are your most and least liked international accents? Uh, <laughs> can be a local one if you like that or dislike that. Um, I have, over the past week, got a real appreciation for the Australian accent in other regions. It's oh, just funny. like, like, like top people of Queensland, that don't Perth hide and... their no, like the Australian, like the general Australian accent, just in like a US market. Yeah, uh? like that's starting to be really entertaining. Where it's just like a bloke that's just like, "How's it going, mate?" But not doing it, going over the top, just talking normally and not doing like the crocodile Dundee character. Yeah, right. It's actually quite entertaining to not have that like fake voice going on. Yeah. Actually, to that point, we were watching um, Boy Swallows Universe last week on Netflix. Yeah. It is nice to hear, like, genuinely both watch good television slash show of Australian, like, make and not have, like, people do shitty Australian accents, just, like, authentic. Jake said swallow twice on this podcast. And long one. Again, I'm only reading out what these things are called. Um... It's not so much a, a dislike, but the Scottish accent, I really struggle with. Oh, I can't. I struggle to hear it. Yeah, it can be pretty, pretty fucking like knives in the ears. Scottish women? Yeah. <laughs> he can say that. Yeah, I think when he was a wee, when he is a, when he I was was a say, wheel I think idea. we can all say that, right? When I was a wheel <laughs> idea. Surely you've got Scottish somewhere <laughs> in your history, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Uh, the dad side, I think. Then, uh, uh, I feel like it just comes with being Australian that, like, you just tick off England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. Yeah, maybe yeah there's, there's as some like Welsh as well. Your background. Uh, Ancestry is getting real lazy with it now, where they're just like, if you're also German, they're just like, ah, uh, Northeastern Europe. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. It. No accents really. Like, I mean, well. At the moment, I on on that basis, there is a, a certain commentator out there in the uh, in the world of wrestling that hates the Australian accent, but he has a terrible southern drawl. So now I am uh, vehemently opposed to that. I'm <laughs> southern drawl. Yeah, Harpo. I'm I'm impressed that Bragg still acknowledges Jim Cornette. Yeah, it comes up every now and then. I don't acknowledge him. Yeah, you probably should. You would. Oh, um, I mean. Without the racism. Him, I Without the blatant racism. I don't acknowledge him because I don't know who he is. Just, <laughs> you'd appreciate the amount of hate coming out of that man. Yeah, everything is, <laughs> I hate this, I hate that. Like, yeah. Back in my the day, I do this. I don't like that you've said, said this. What? You, like, you hate a lot of things. I know this, but I don't like it to be said. <laughs> oh, I mean, same. I thought that was a bonding experience for us. Now he's rejecting it. Now I'm feeling He's like... rejecting Jim Cornette's philosophies. <laughs> of hatred. Oh, a anyway, um, next question comes to us from Rye Guy. How do you deal with sore losers? Uh, I don't. Yeah, normally I just kind of leave. Yeah. Yeah, you just kind of take yourself out of the situation where you can. Just like... Yeah. Just kind of stuff. <laughs> Could I be better? That's kind of why I don't duel with friends. Because oh, uh, yeah, yeah. they are both sore winners and losers. They are just the scum of the earth. Yes. 
No, I'm in text form. It's neither here nor there. It's just it can get it's so in text form. It's arguably worse because you have yeah. to wait for them to spout their bullshit. Yeah, the issue is when they just go like, "Pause game." No. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm right. And it was the effect like someone put the screen cap of effect Baylor in in their oh turn. Oh my god! <laughs> just read Baylor. No. <laughs> Like, just, there's, they would only have to do a couple of things, and they wouldn't even have to do both of them. They, like, there's two things that come to mind when it comes to dueling with friends to fix it, to make a lot of that shit go away. One, delete it. Have <laughs> more judges available, which is obviously something out of their control, mm -hmm. because half no of the problem is, like, people anymore. just throw their bullshit to the internet. And because they know judges aren't available for an hour and a half, they're hoping just to win the war of attrition and that their opponent will just scoop. Yes. The other thing to just eliminate that altogether, automate it. But if you Don't... automate it, it's not genuinely playing with your friends. Yeah. It's, yeah. Automated would be, uh, like, obviously a, a sticking point because then it becomes a different type of simulator. And then also... It's a lot of programming, which I don't think I trust them, considering how the state of the site. Did my friends give away my details again? Because I remember my friends gave away my details like 10 years ago. Have they given away my well, details that, again? that was your old group of friends. I don't think the new group of friends have had a uh, breach of their systems. Well, they still have the same personality though. I mean, a lot of the personality is the same, but I don't think it's operating uh, from the same place. It's now in Barbados. How much, how much legal talk are we dodging <laughs> by our phrasing? I feel like we're a power world. <laughs> <laughs> Duly with friends is just Yu-Gi-Oh! power world. <laughs> There's the guns. When you and your friends start playing with the custom cards. <laughs> Actually, a power world custom deck when? Oh, Christ. I imagine it's already up. Uh, <laughs> our last question, again, comes oh, to us from 6 i 6 from The last question from the Discord. Oh, there's another question. Yeah, I sent you it too. What? Did you? Uh, when? you I'll, I'll, dig, last I'll dig for it while you read. Anyway, uh, the last question from our Discord is, what sort of small talk do you make before and after yeah. the duel, win or lose? I don't. Yeah, I don't. Jake doesn't. <laughs> if he loses, Look at there's the... no small talk. Oh no, absolutely not. Um, at the beginning, like I'll make small talk, like they'll be like, oh, how's your match is going? Oh yeah, I did well against X and Y, blah, 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 blah. And then the match gets started and then it's like, yep, yeah, all like civil, but like, I don't want to know about you. I, <laughs> if you've versed me, you've probably experienced this already, but I don't really care that much. Jake doesn't Damn, smoke. Jake, why are you still single? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all those women I was sitting across at for fucking Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. It's it's purely in that environment. I don't care about those people. <laughs> Sorry if you have been one of those people. I yeah, I'm in I'm in all like I just can't do it. Like I, sometimes if you prompt me, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk, but like I'm gonna yeah. Yeah, like if so, I'm gonna try and build. I'll it never up. sit down and be like, "How's your day?" But if someone sits down and asks me how my day is, I'll tell them. I'm not asking them how their day is, but I ain't never gonna start that first. So if you ever play me at an event and I just sit down like, let's play, don't take it personally. I just so we said like... the same thing, I just phrased it differently and somehow I'm a monster. Yeah. <laughs> because I, if someone engages with me, I will engage with them and I will That's what I said. No, no, no. I will genuinely be interested in how they are doing and I will try and have that conversation with will, them. Will you be genuinely interested, or will you just feign interest? I can be genuinely interested in people. Can I say? In terms but of are you? Talk, does it matter? Yes. Does it? Yes. Feigning interest is the same as interest. No. No, it's not. It isn't. You can't tell. Can... Who cares? No. So here's the thing: feigning interest goes away. You ask them the question, yeah. like in one ear, out the other, kind of thing. Sometimes you might grab bits and pieces if it's important information. Interest means if you run into that dude three months down the track oh. at a fucking regional and he's like oh yeah how'd your sister go with the operation you're like i don't fucking know you <laughs> well, well no i'm that no. deep in the conversation no, but i have the problem of oh i'm like i'm not feigning interest but i will not remember three months later and that's partly my, my problem my as well unless like the only things i remember about people are generally what they do for work and what's the name of their dog 
The rest of it is useless to me. I don't care about any of it. Or rather, I can't remember it. That, sh that should be... I struggle to remember people's names. Struggle. Hate trying to remember people's names. I'm the same. That's the small talk I want to do before Jules. Talk about dogs. I can I can just win to you constantly that little fucking game at the side gate. Honestly, yeah. If you want a free win against me, you can probably just start talking about dogs and I'll just lose all concentration. Yeah. Why do you never play a dog deck? Such as? You didn't even read the new dog card we're getting in the new set. Which is? It's like that, we're getting that, the Pug King thing. That was ages ago. I thought we were getting We knew about one. that so long ago. Yeah, but we're getting it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We knew about it. It'll be in a quarties? It'll be physical, and that's common. Of course I not. just want quarties of commons. For... Anyway. Uh, on Spotify. Um, we the can question... get questions on Spotify? Yeah. I... <sighs> Whatever. Um, yeah, yes. Yes. So... Yeah, Spotify opened up a thing where it just automatically applied it to all of our old episodes. So we just get every now and then an odd question. But this one was somewhat recent when we talked about Rhoda's original printing. Uh, they, Diego points out that it was printed as a super. I did see this, yes. Yes. Uh, and Bonfire was the, is the first ultra of a Rhoda, which I don't think is correct because uh, can we count Sunnet Mining? I don't remember what we said when we did over this. Kind of greedy, in my opinion. Fair. Yeah, so Sunnet Mining was first printed as a secret, and no, no uh, yeah, yeah, but, but, but reprinted wasn't as an ultra. Was my argument that if, if Rhoda was printed as a secret, it would have been a fuck ton of money? Or was my point that they printed it as an expensive card and it was worth a fuck ton of money? Because I don't remember. No, well, no, was. it's it's more of that they now know that Rhoda would have made them a lot of money if they oh, had yeah. done it properly. Because I mean, oh, Rhoda wasn't well, Rhoda wasn't relevant until the starter decks that or well, the structure decks that was common in. Yeah, like oh, it kind of came up with Diddy Worry Lady. Yeah. But yeah, now it's like, they know the power of rotors, every rotor after this will be worth money. Yes. Ish. Unless yeah. if it's for fish. Or sea serpents. Or pyro. Actually, Fossil Dig got a super as well. Like, Fossil, that was... Fossil Dig was originally common. Common? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll, I'll, They missed I'll... a trick with that, surely. Yeah. Yeah, but dinosaurs did suck. It didn't get a foil print until like years later yeah oh. it was a while wasn't it because it didn't get one in um that gx set way back when it was like oh no my dino dna when you look <laughs> up fossil dig it comes up with actual fossil diggings on google <laughs> shocking <laughs> uh yeah so uh we can also put up polls on spotify is there a poll we want to do this week how how quick are our spotify listeners mm. Do oh no! So no. Chart that says, uh, well, they they all listen pretty much like pretty within quickly. a day after. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, then I know at the very least Jesse's like right on top of it. The second it's uploaded to audio, he's on it. Yeah, it was a common ancient prophecy. Can you not click? Not with that one. That one. Ah, there we go. Can't do that one. Any poll ideas? Um, not polls that aren't open ended. That, might, oh, be that most... might be a technical issue. No, no, because no, we put the, we put the options. Uh, yeah, mm. exactly. That's the problem. Okay. Oh, well, we'll, you have small we'll... Talk with Jake. <laughs> What's the, your favorite it's... Jake small talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> what were you small talk with Jake about? Yes. Oh, Christ. His day. His dogs. That's it. Yeah, that, that, those are the two things. Uh, but thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are listening along on Spotify, uh, keep a look out for the poll and uh, feel free to favourite. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Um, jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace.